Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to the Welfare Fish channel. As always, I'm Welfare Fish, and if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing, dropping a like, or sharing the video, and or checking out any other videos on the channel, because I do a lot of different content. I do a lot of content like this gameplay here, and I'm pretty sure there's something there for everybody. There's something there for everybody to enjoy, in my opinion. Now, today's gameplay is a gameplay of me, Beto, and Spencer. And we're on three. It's a three v three game mode in Salvage on Blind Watch, where I use No Land Beyond and Sidearm again. Well, I don't know. I think last gameplay was like No Land Beyond and another sniper. But this time it's No Land Beyond Sidearm because for whatever reason I'm really enjoying using the No Land Beyond, and so is the rest of my friend group. So it's just kind of what we've been using. And I'm gonna put it on the fact that there's this whole kind of like what do we do until Rise of Iron comes out because Rise of Iron's got so much hype built up around it and Taken King's kind of like slowly dying off so it's kind of just filling the ga our, like this gap of time of like fun things to do before September 20th so we don't I mean or just taking a break whatever we've been doing but <laughs> either way this is the gameplay we end up winning hope you guys enjoy in the background now today's story is how me Beto a friend Hank and my friend Luke actually built like actually had to build this um basically cardboard canoe and then race it in a competition and this happened about a year ago when i was at um, a summer camp or like a scout camp with beto and my other two friends luke and hank and we had to do every year the scout camp um has a competition where you have to like your uh, group has to build a uh, duct tape and cardboard canoe and then like race it and like they give you like oars and stuff like that so you just have to build the canoe and but nobody else in our like group wanted to build it so us four kind of like grouped up together and we're like yeah you know what we're just gonna we're gonna do it because nobody else wants to but we will because why not we'll see what happens it'll be fun so kind of like all of our free time that we had every day during the summer camp like it, like building up to it we just kind of like worked really 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 hard on this boat and we were like talking about like layers and layers of duct tape like just bending cardboard and uh, like fitting people inside of it and at one point actually i am like 90 percent sure i accidentally shoved my foot through the bottom so we had to like reinforce that hole and like on both sides to make sure like no water would flood through like automatically and we just lose because there's a giant hole in the bottom of our boat but leave it up to me to uh like you know shove my through like accidentally shove my foot through the bottom of the cardboard raft because we had like sticks to reinforce it so like <laughs> Well, because like you could use like any nature things you found. I guess that explains the sticks. Don't be coming at me in the comments for sticks not being cardboard and canoe. So like we had like used sticks to reinforce it. And we were trying to like place one in place, and like I, yeah, smashed my foot through the bottom, and we had to reinforce it. But uh, it had like a flag on the back and everything. It was the world's dopest canoe by the time it was done. And the race came around, and the night before we had um like put our trailer like our trailer no we had to put our canoe in a trailer and had it like ready to go so we pulled it out and like we started like putting we got it like up on like our group's shoulders and started like carrying it down to like the pool where they raced because apparently that we couldn't race in a, like a river like it hang on we're gonna focus on that for a second we had to race in a pool there were like 18 boats in this one pool because we couldn't use like the river that they have on like at the campground like the campsite so 18 boats, one pool. This is already going to be a disaster. But like we went in and like we got into like, we we're like, yeah, yeah, you know, we're gonna, we're ready to race, we're ready to go. And like then we start seeing like all these other boats and like there are like people who like sh took full logs and like just sat on them and like, yeah, yeah, we're ready to go. We have this log that's just gonna float in the pool. And I'm like, how does that qualify as a boat? Yes, you can float on it. I bet if you had paddles, yes, you could paddle your way to the other side. But you're also taking up like, a huge amount of space in this pool that's already crowded so what are we going to do like what, what are you going to do about this and like oh oh no it's it's fine it, it qualifies as a boat it's got some duct tape on it and like yes it did so i understand that but still it's it's a log in the pool much i don't know there was a lot of things wrong with this race but we still did it anyway and um they had you wear life jackets because like they usually do it because like you're in a canoe you're in the river like if you actually race in the river they'd have you wear a life jacket but they had us do it in the pool anyway so like, we look really dumb because like, we're sitting in a cardboard canoe that we made that's covered in duct tape with like these real like paddles that are used for like kayaking and canoeing and a life jacket on in a pool and the pool's like nine feet and anybody who's in the canoe can swim because it's like a requirement so this is just 
dumb and looking at it to be exacerbated. Like, all asking ourselves, why do we sign up for this? Like, why do we do this? But, um, uh, as we still, like, we all climb in, we're getting ready to go. And, like, everybody's on the sideline cheering us. And, like, oh, yeah, let's go, guys. Like, we can do it. Like, let's let's do it. And, like, you guys can do it. And, like, me and my friend Luke were in, in, like, Hank and Beta were, like, our pit crew, like, cheering us on from the side as long as, every, along with everybody else. And I'm sorry. I just kind of saw that Titan literally fail that smash and it made me lose my train of thought for a second because that was the dumbest smash i've ever seen now i mean i'm not the best either as you'll tell somewhere in this gameplay there's one where i mess up really bad too and i even made the comment i'm like yeah these guys are really bad at like using like um fist of havoc and then i miss one like really badly so you guys will see that but just have to point that out because i just realized how badly he missed that slam but Either way, like we climb in our canoe, we start like racing basically, and what do you know? We're going out like we start getting around like the first bend of like this pool because like it was like a weird L shape, like a really fat L, but it was in an L shape. So we start going around like this first turn, and what do you know? That spot where I shove my foot through the bottom of like the boat, the the duct tape that we used to reinforce it breaks and like well like breaks and caves in, and it's just kind of like hanging on the bottom. It's like we start getting like all this water like gushing in. And like the front starts going down, so I start leaning back like onto my friend Luke to like keep the boat up above water as we kind of like paddle. So it was one of those like the front of the boat is like up out of the water a bit, and we're both like just sitting in the back part, just floating and like paddling. Like that's at least what it felt like. Um, and so like we're just kind of going we're like, yeah, we can do it. But like for some reason that happened, and it, we turn around and we look for like two seconds as we're going around like this next kind of like fat. L turn and, like we look behind us as well and we're in the lead and like our boats also sinking at the same time and so we just keep going we just keep going we just keep going we're like yeah we're gonna make it we're gonna make it it was like yeah come on you guys can do it you can do it and what do you know one of our sides like starts collapsing in on us and like starts like basically like, constricting us inside of our boat and we're like oh oh that's that's not good because like I couldn't move my one arm to like paddle so like I'm like half paddling I had t-rex arms kind of like a titan does in destiny but hey and so like we're I, like we literally like made it but somebody got ahead of us apparently like, people had gotten ahead of us during this time as so we're like also like half sinking and floating and it was weird people had gotten ahead of us and they won and then we like got along I'm pretty sure like we, we were like uh, we're like yeah dude we, we won we got a place like we were at least third place or something like that right right but like we weren't really sure and then what do you know there was this boat all right that took third place away from us and it completely like broke the rules it was like used like it had like glue and super glue and like paint on it as a boat but apparently that's allowed all of a sudden it, like it was like super glue and like cardboard and like painted cardboard and stuff and it's like that that's not cardboard and duct tape we were like we were like that's not cardboard like okay, that is cardboard but we don't see any duct tape we see like glue so we went up and took a closer look at it and that boat actually took our third place from us so um uh, let's just uh take a moment of silence for our loss like it's like people cheating and like using exploits like universal remote and destiny i mean but it's okay we, we all we got we were salty for a bit and i mean destiny players are still saltier like right now so I mean, oh, hey, look, right here's the uh, Titan Smash that I fail. I was so confident, too, but, like, he had jumped over me, and I just hit the pipe. But at least I got that kill, and then I just got shotgunned with Universal. But, but yeah, either way, basically ended up losing this race because people using, like, basically cheating, if you just want to put it that way. But we built a cargo canoe. It was a lot of fun. And I just thought I'd tell you guys that story because I needed a story to go over this gameplay. And I was like, hey, look, this one. Because I was actually at a party of Beto after this game that we had recorded. And he's like, yeah, dude, you should definitely um, you should definitely tell this one. And like so, and then I saw a friend Chase that said it too. And so it was a lot of fun. I enjoyed that time, and I figured you guys would too. Um, you know, building cargo work canoes aren't necessarily the easiest thing, but we somehow did it. Either way, guys, this gameplay is coming to a close. And hopefully, I hope I, I hope you guys enjoyed the story. I really do. Um, if you guys um, are enjoying this kind of storytelling format, make sure you guys leave a like down below, leave a view, whatever you guys want to do. Drop a subscribe if you're new, like I always say. And I will talk to you guys all later. Enjoy these last 30 seconds of delicious uh, blind watch no land beyond gameplay. Because they're like the best thing in the world. Not really. We just win, and then it goes to the reward screen where I get nothing. But it's okay. As always, guys, I've been Wolfer Fish. Consider subscribing for the third time this video, and I will talk to you guys all later. Take care.